Hello violinists and violists. In this video we are going to be talking about slurs and in particular uh, number 109 stop and go. Now we've already learned about ties in number 108 fit to be tied and we learned that a tie is a curved line that connects two of or more of the same note into one longer note. Now a slur is also a curved line, but it's going to connect two different pitches, two different notes, um, into the same bow stroke. So our bow is going to do the same thing as it did when we were doing ties. It's going to keep traveling through the notes, except our notes change, so our left hand is going to have to change notes. Um, so just a reminder, of course, yep, down here, that's a tie. Those are the same note keep that note going. Change note, that is a slur. Now, slurs are a little tricky uh, when we first start because until now we have been used to changing our bow direction for every note as we play. two or more notes into one bow. Now, I was just showing off a little bit. We are going to try this just one step at a time. So if you have your instrument out, let's just go ahead and practice a couple D to E slurs. So we're going to be going from open D to first finger E. And I'm going to think about each note getting about half of my bow. So D, E, E, D, or whatever order of notes that you do. So let's go ahead and try a couple of those. You don't have to play right with me, but you can. Ready? D. D, E. Did you keep your bow moving? Let's try that again. Maybe you did. Let's do it again. Go back, lift back to your frog. Ready, D. E. Freeze. And now let's go from E to D. So maybe pause this video and go ahead and practice a couple of those. Watch your bow. Really feel your elbow, that car door open and oh, open and then close if you're doing an up bow. So for stop and go, we are going to only be using D's and E's. And we start off with a D to an E slur. D, E, and then we're gonna have a two beat rest. Rest, rest. In the next measure, we're gonna be going from E to D. E, D, rest, rest. And then the pattern's going to continue. D to E, E to D. If you look in the fifth measure, the rests go away. This is the tricky part. Just get that bow going back and forth and focus on your left hand. If you don't get it the first time, don't worry, because very rarely do I have students that do get this the first time, because it's tricky. Okay, 109. I'm gonna count four beats. I'm gonna make sure my bow is near the frog in the middle lane, my first finger right above where it needs to be. One, two, three. Rest, 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 no more rests. time and this time I'm going to remind you of bow directions because slurs are tricky. One, two, bow on the string, beginning, D, down, rest, now up, rest and down, rest and up, rest and down.
how do you do when I stopped saying the bow directions? Good? I hope so. And if you didn't do the very best that you think you can, go back and try it again. Slurs are tricky. Only at the beginning. Then they're going to be easy. Happy practicing.